a Canadian politician, John Reyes is being dragged online after sharing a now viral tweet of his wife shoveling snow in negative four degree weather. John captioned the tweet stating, even after a 12 hour night shift at the hospital last night, my wife still has the energy to shovel the driveway. I God mean. bless her and all our frontliners. <laughs> Time mean. to make her some <laughs> breakfast. All right, ladies, you already going in. Did you find this post sweet or were you thinking, are you kidding me? Immediately, are you kidding me? First of all, the thought that he actually had saying, let me put this out into the world, that my wife just did 12 hour shift and now she's shoveling. I mean, like, where is that okay? I mean, it would have been sweeter, and he's on the inside, by the way, mm -hmm. in a warm apartment, <laughs> looking out at his wife shoveling. I mean, come on. He really chivalry? thought he was doing something. He really did. I'm about to, I'm about to put, watch this post. Okay. Let, me, let me take this picture. Let me, because <laughs> right? I'm about to, I'm about to let the world know. No, I should have been shoveling it, but no, I'm gonna wait for her to yeah. come. And she was probably damn tired, couldn't get yes. in her doorway, and that's why she shoveled right. after 12 hours of being a frontline worker. Why would you even? You know, I understand what he was trying to do, but we were all what saying... What was he trying to do? He Why was trying to brag her? on his... He was trying to uplift and brag and say, look, after all of this, she's still doing this. And then he was trying to give a shout-out to frontline workers. But it just... Sometimes stuff comes off the wrong way, and yes. this one came off the wrong way, because we like, dude, you at home? Why didn't you shovel, shovel the it? driveway? Because you knew she was coming home. Yes. You had 12 hours. Yes. Baby, shovel. let me take that shovel from you. Let me yeah. do it. You go inside, you've worked all day. Exactly. I do agree with Lonnie in the sense, I think he was trying to brag on the idea that he had such a hardworking woman who already did this, and then she comes home and look at her. But we're like, yeah, look at her. Why ain't you out there helping her? Right. Instead, you're filming her. Get, like, put the phone down and go help her. I mean, this is the thing, too. <laughs> I was mad because she worked 12 hours. Me too. It could have been a man out exactly... there and a woman inside, and I would have said, go help him. Right. That, it's not it's... a man or a woman thing. If my man worked 12-hour 12 12 shifts and then came home and was busting his ass out there working, right. I, as a woman, would get out there and be like, babe, let How me can help, I you. help you. Yeah, I wouldn't be filming him from the inside no. warm. But but he least, did say he was making her breakfast. Let me make her breakfast. I, I mean, would love to talk to her. I would love to talk to her too, but let's be real, you know, in relationships, are we saying that there are certain things that we want the man to do versus the woman? Oh, I don't feel that way, but I want help. Yeah, I, I think there's certain when things. When help is needed. Are you gonna take out the things. garbage or are you gonna shovel? I will take out the garbage, I will shovel. If my husband absolutely sees that I'm struggling taking the garbage out, he's going to help me. I don't take out garbage and I don't shovel. Really? No, no, that's... I do. I was taking out, I was taking out the trash cans this morning. If I'm right by myself... Right before I got in the car to come to work. Absolutely, um, I live if alone. I'm by myself, my kids I, yeah. are with their dad. Yeah, if I'm by myself... I need it picked up. I gotta be honest. If I'm by myself, I'm down to do anything because I'm self-sufficient. But there are moments when I absolutely will try to do something and my husband will be like, don't do that. I want to do it That's for you. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's he what wants, I need. He wants life. to do it for me. Chivalry. Yeah, for sure. My question is, this woman may... I just... That's just not the vibe I got. But I'd love to have a conversation and be like, is this something that you take pride in doing? Because at the same time... After a 12-hour shift? You that's how I... I don't, I don't... I don't... On a Saturday morning when I just... You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't think a after a 12-hour shift... But the after. thing is, too, women have to always do it all. She probably looked at all that damn snow. I'm not, you know, I'm just right. assuming. I just got and home, she's like, she wants I to pull in the driveway. There ain't no way. Let me go on here and shovel and this. And just do it. Has that I ever happened to you? you? Right. Has not that, with no man. Even if they don't intend, has there ever been a moment where you worked really hard and you got home and things were not what you expected? Yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I live with teenagers. <laughs> that's the I'm reality. Like, you don't have to leave your dishes in the sink. Yeah, that, I mean, it's happened. I think it's not done intentionally. We all were in our feelings about this. Yeah, you know? I think that's yeah. what it was. At least he made her breakfast. At the end of the day, he made her breakfast. Thank you for the breakfast. We don't know what it is. It could have been a bowl of Cheerios. Ooh! Okay, well, I check hope it was out. a hot breakfast. <laughs> a dying man 
Allen has become <laughs> the first patient in the world to get a heart transplant from a genetically modified pig. Now, surgeons use a heart from a pig that had undergone gene editing to make it less likely that the patient's immune system will reject the organ. And experts say that it is too soon to know if the patient's body would fully accept the organ and the next few weeks would be critical as he is winged off the machine. They have taken pictures of him smiling and everything. So, ladies, this is groundbreaking. Or is it a bit too much? No, I think it's groundbreaking. I mean, the man is doing well. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how far medicine has come. And just think about it. My sister had um, a liver transplant. And just the fact that you can do those things, it's incredible. But yeah. my takeaway, will he still eat bacon? Oh, my gosh. No, I, That's where, OK, I know that it sounds funny. <laughs> no, but I really, like, I love bacon. And like, I'm like, would I eat bacon? OK, that's where my questions come from. I know you think it sounds funny, but you guys know. <laughs> y'all don't, why y'all laughing? Because Lottie's trying to hold it in. It's an innocent question. It's an innocent question. It's just a modified pig heart. That doesn't mean that he can't eat no. pig. Pig. I'm oh. saying. But pig that's my like, I'm you the are going to be people who don't want <laughs> pigs being killed I'm saying, so that they can genetically no, modify genetically. them. And... But, but this is the thing, though. We have a lot of people that need heart transplants, and we don't have enough organs. So what science is trying to do is find different ways to... And that's amazing. You and know, that's amazing. And that's they're amazing. looking at 3D. I can't wait for the 3D organs to come. And that's, that's like man-made yes. 3D organs. So, I mean, they're trying... But yeah, you know, vegans. Listen, yeah, exactly. Medicine. You're going where I'm going. I understood when she said, is he gonna eat pig still? Because to some extent, I'm, I'm considering, no, I'm just, uh, Garcelle. I'm just, I feel like Doreen right now. Garcelle, <laughs> Garcelle. This is what no. I done to her. I didn't even like, yes, yeah, hit me. No, but I literally feel right now, like to a certain extent, it does break my heart that pigs would possibly be slaughtered. But it didn't break his heart. It helped him. Oh, my God. No, no, no. <laughs> Guys, I know that this is going to sound really stupid to a lot of people, but have you ever watched those videos of how pigs are slaughtered? Guys, it's heartbreaking. Pigs have feelings and emotion. They really do. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not Like, pigs funny. really do have feelings. They cry. Like, they have tear ducts just like we do. It's the whole thing. And that's my only concern is that now, on a level, we think that, oh, human hearts are more valuable, and so we're just gonna kill a bunch of pigs so that we can save a bunch of... It, I don't want it to go in that direction. We totally understand that, but I feel like what maybe if it, was, for? if it was a relative of yours, you may have a different opinion no, about I that. No, I completely agree that... that. If I needed a pig heart... Oh? I'm taking that damn pig heart. You can be mad at me because I need to live. You <laughs> eat bacon every morning, too! <laughs> Guys! I am living. I think there's a difference between, obviously, they use <laughs> organs from people who have passed away. That is different. In but there's not fun. enough. What we're saying is that there are not enough organs, and you, you sometimes you have to be on a waiting list, and people <clears throat> can't, so they're just trying so to advance. So the pigs gotta suffer, because you... They're not gonna keep using pigs, Munchkin. This is just, you know, in, in but while they moderate and things. And genetic, you know, it's like... You can clone pigs now. That's why we're trying to clone stuff. They're not like real pigs. Some are cloned pigs, and then you use their heart, their organs for that, because we can't clone people. We all yet. gonna act like this is all good? Word. Not, we just, just we just gonna I mean, act like this is fine? Yeah, but don't you wear fur? Don't you wear fur? In this man's case, Munchkin. <laughs> Munchkin, in this man's case, in this man's case, he had it an irregular him. heartbeat. Yes. So he couldn't use a human heart. So, okay. they, so this is just science. And we're not, we're not gonna abuse animals. I don't agree with that no. either. Thank but you. But can I just say this, because it sounds like we're being flippant, and I think that's why you're, you know, you're, you're having a hard time with I'm it also. I am so for science. If it wasn't for science, I went through Same. infertility to have my children. Same. So I understand it, but we also have to put the human life before, hu before an animal. Yes! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh my God. Now you gonna give her a heart oh attack. She gonna need a Literally, pig heart. I'm gonna need a transplant. I, 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 Are you going I to step that. over a human being to help an animal? No, no, I just think that there should be a level of fairness in the sense of I don't think that we should be harming animals 
to save so humans. The, exactly. I think that the same way that if you are an organ donor, they don't walk up to you and slaughter you because somebody's in need of a heart. They wait sure. till you pass away. There, there's a certain way that we can do this in a more, what is the word I'm looking for? And a that's more, why we're looking at In a more cloning. humane Way. And that's why we're looking at cloning and different types of modifications. And then that's where it just things. gets a little bit weird, but I'm, I'm But here. if it's a heart, it's like growing a heart. But one day, you're gonna have, like I said, 3D organs.